Welcome to Bay Focus. Thank you so much for joining me today. And you're not going to be disappointed today. What a great program we have planned for you. If you enjoy laughing, if you enjoy comedy, if you enjoy magic, and you are looking for a fundraiser, something that could work for your church, for your organization, good, clean, good, clean jokes, Christian emphasis, you want to stay tuned. It is PG comedy and magic we're going to be featuring today that's the name of the group and we're going to devote the whole show to this and you want to stay tuned and call a friend because they're going to show you some of the things they do a little bit later in the broadcast as well but we are so privileged today to have on um, the the brains behind pg comedy and magic the founders of it pete o'shea so great to have you back Hi, pete, you've been on the show before with us and you a lot of our a lot of our viewers know you because you host the pete o'shea show on wtis am 11 10 am radio and then you brought with you jeff williams who is a three-time magician of the year and a Three times, three times, no. yeah. Why'd you stop there, Jeff? I can you know, be, yeah, well, going, yeah. I could bring well, they cut you off at they three. They cut you off at three. They do. I know, but you're also a comedy writer. Mm -hmm. uh, let me, you know, before I talk to you guys, and you know, I don't know if we're going to show these guys outfits, which you're really going to see better, better later in the show when they do some of their comedy sketches and things. Love the outfits, the shoes. Thank you. Look at this, custom Isn't that made. Amazing? Oh my, everything you'd want at a church fundraiser exactly. for your comedy <laughs> team. Um, and that really is why, um, why we brought you guys on today. But let me give you just our viewers a little bit of the background because um, Jeff has is, is got um, one, of the, one of the great things out of your magic entertainer, but you have written top 10 lists for the, the, for the um, Late Show with David Letterman. You did that for how many years? Uh, it's over a 12 year period. Yeah, I, I, wrote, I um, love that. Anybody that watched David Letterman remembers that. And, and then you. you're also a performing member of the world famous Magic Castle in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. You've done a lot of different things with, with super, comic superstars, opening for various um, people, including Kevin James, which a lot of people remember him um, from the t TV show. And Actually, Pete open for Kevin James. Oh, yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. Drive yeah. the wrong the one? Miles. No, it's you. Okay, yeah. you could have you could have owned that. People Jeff. confuse us yeah. all the time. Yeah. 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 You could have owned that. that. See there? Pete, that's great. Huh? Yeah. That's, you got you got a mixed easy up here. To get I thought mixed up. two different columns. Yeah. But you both have combined efforts with Pete. You've done comedy for so long, and obviously radio and and et cetera too, then all the magic. But one of the things that reason we brought you on today and you're going to explain this and and is that you really want to let churches and people know um, that you guys are available to come on, but give us. I'm gonna start with you, Pete and Jeff, and if if you want to start, you know, join in. But what it? How did this happen? And and what do you guys do? This was God all the way. Yeah. Okay, this was God all the way. Um, you know, Jeff and I both do things in the community. Both know a lot of people. We were both asked to MC a fashion show. I think they made a mistake and kind of double booked. You know, and we're standing there, and I didn't know him. And I said, Well, what are you doing here? He said, I'm the MC. I'm like, No, nah, I'm the MC. <laughs> And he's like, dude, I'm the MC. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, I'm the MC. I mean, they booked me, I'm here. And we're going back and forth for about 10 minutes doing that. And uh, finally, uh, I tell the story better, by the way. You said, yeah, you, you do. You told the story on radio last Thursday. I'm telling it better. Got it. And uh, anyway, um, finally we said, let's just do it together. So we did the fashion show together, and we were improv and riffing and going back. We had nothing planned. Yeah. We didn't prepare anything. And all of a sudden, this, this just took off. And we kept talking about it. And I said, come over, be a guest on the show. He came over, was on the radio. And then we went out there and had breakfast. And all of a sudden, we're writing sketches. We're writing bits. Literally, we said to the waitress, can we borrow your pen and some paper? And we're sitting there writing sketches in the breakfast, right? And all of a sudden, this right. came about. And we said, we can do this. This could be pretty interesting. No one's ever done stand-up, sketch comedy, and magic, which are even funny. Even the magic yeah. is just set up for more jokes. No one's ever done that before in one show. Yeah. So we kind of put it all together. And so you, you handle the comedy side, you handle the magic, and then they overlap at times. That's how Correct. this works. Correct. So, yeah. yeah, I'm actually shoehorning him in. He's learning some magic. Learning. Uh, it's kind of slow. This guy's got hands like sausages. So, I mean, his <laughs> fingers are I'm just... I'm trying. Yeah, really. I have to tie his <laughs> shoes. So it's, it's not... Uh, it doesn't go well. But he's he's learning. And God bless you. You're just... You're doing really well. That trick last Saturday night was so close to working. It was so close. <laughs> it was so... It was like yeah. this close. Yeah. And I was doing it. And I was doing... I, I, I had the hand it, thing the going. Hand and and it, and it, oh, almost. Almost. Yeah. But it didn't quite work, eh? I lifted um, it. Yeah, well, I got to say, 
Judge, lift the give candidate. you some credit, though. You have to have a little bit of a comedy bone in you if you wrote for Letterman, the top ten list. So this is a great He's hilarious. combination. Yeah. But you, all right, now, but, but this specifically, what we brought you on today is you really want the churches, and you've done some church fundraisers. What, how do you see this as a fundraiser for churches? We had both been doing it separately, and mm -hmm. so well, let's try this together. What, what we're trying to show the churches or nonprofits or ministries, you guys can sell the tickets for the show, mm -hmm. have everybody come out, and you can raise some money and awareness for what you're doing. Bring new people into the church that have never been there before, and they'll stay afterwards. Let people know what you're doing. The show we did this past Saturday night for Cons Helping Cons, at the end they did a video presentation of who they are and what they're about. Mm -hmm. They're able to share it. They got more volunteers. They got more people involved. And that's a ministry, by the way, Cons. And they're terrific, cons, yeah. but 100% success rate. Come out of prison. 100% yeah. success rate. We were yeah. thrilled to be able to help them. And they raise some money, they raise some awareness, mm -hmm. sell tickets to the comedy show. It's just that easy, and you can get everybody to come on out and have a good time. If you do concessions also in a raffle, a couple, two, three other things, before you know it, you had a very but good yeah, night. Yeah, you have a really great window into this, too, Pete, because obviously you work in Christian radio, and, and you kind of have a pulse on, on what um, church is like, what, what different, and, and I, want, I want to say this flat out, this is not exclusively churches. We're kind of promoting that today because of, we're on Christian Television Network. Um, but you're open to other areas, too, right? Businesses, the um, schools. Oh, yeah. 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 Schools, um, civic-minded organizations, a lot of different groups that are uh, that have a place to do the show. They have a ticket sales force, and they really have a desire to to raise some money with wholesome entertainment. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to talk to you more in just a moment. But I want to give our viewers a little bit uh, of a look at, at what you do and some comments uh, from people that have have watched your show. So uh, let's take a look at the PG comedy and magic. <laughs> And everybody laughed. Not every minute, every second. Every Please, if you have the opportunity, catch a show anytime you can. Not just one time, but another time and another time after that. Thank you so much. Baby, can you move around the rhythm so we can get with the Well, 
I love that if you know right at the end you guys the little the little children there if you can get them laughing you know you, you just about hit every age group there which is a, is a question I have do you, do you um, we paid a lot of money yeah to get that little girl to say those lines we're still paying her a lot of money we yeah, gotta send her a check we yeah. have the PayPal Candy doesn't work yeah, anymore no. PayPal will yeah. be in the mail yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can't just give them, you know, like a, you know, a candy bar anymore. They want <laughs> cash. You know, give me the cash. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was unsolicited, <laughs> by the way. They, they were very nice. Were yeah. Nice. Well, but that brings up a question. I saw all different ages there kind of represented it. Do, do you take your material and target it? Like, like if you go to a particular group, do you target your material or do you keep your material general enough that it fits all audiences? It, it fits all audiences. But the beauty of what we've done here is nobody doesn't get it nobody has to leave the room it doesn't exclude anybody so from the, the the kids to the adults everybody gets it it's not something that has to keep getting shifted depending who's there yeah it wor it straight works for everybody I have to disagree I target <laughs> now? I target all of my stuff for ages uh, 3 to 108 oh okay yeah so that's my I'm that's my just, focus group I'm glad you jumped in there yeah. With that. yeah yeah definitely yeah that was helpful I just I got to say what makes me laugh right now is I've never had two guests on set where the other person just goes, I strongly disagree. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and with twins, you too, have to see in the whole look. You have to see our show. Yeah, yeah. the rehearsals. Yeah. Watch the rehearsals uh, and see how that well, goes. Well, we're going to get a little bit of a taste of it in, in just a moment. But um, I, one, one of the things, too, again, because we're, we're um, mentioning for churches, you know, one of the things that they say, does your church need to raise money for operating expenses, outreach programs, mission trips, VBS, classroom supplies? So you're saying, why not? You know, a lot of times these are bake sales that are, you know, doing this kind of stuff or they're doing other fundraisers, maybe meals that people come to, all of which are good. But while wow, this would be a different approach, it would be like if you if you need to have a, a fundraiser at church or you're trying to raise for like a mission strip or why not bring in a, a team and sell tickets? Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff you're trying to get people to think creatively on exactly. fundraising. Exactly. Definitely. Exactly. Laughter is good medicine. It's a great time. Yeah. Uh, we put them in a really good mood. Then you can ask them for more. You can ask them, hey, can you help us too? Can you volunteer? Can you pray for us? Yeah. You know, can you just help us with what we're doing? And we've seen that, both of us in, our, in the times we've done it before, you know, previous and then together now. Uh, we help widows and orphans with one of the show. We help get desks to a uh, third world country from another one of the churches. Uh, again, cons helping cons. We've helped people that are really making an impact. They can do a lot more with the money we raise. Yeah, let me, and I can ask you both this quick, but, but Pete, you've done a lot of different things, and um, obviously as a radio host, but you've you've been a comedian. You have a great background in um, media as well. You've hosted a variety of, of things. I know I saw you at the a pro life rally, hosting, emceeing that. Um, in doing in doing this, and Jeff, you can pipe in after Pete's spoken to, or you can interrupt him again, again and yeah. go first. That's helpful. But uh, he does have a great background, by the way. I don't know if anybody's actually noticed if they can't. If they have a <laughs> wide screen, you can. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah. But you guys said, you know, and you've done you've both done a lot of different things and so in the, in the you've done a number of these now together. Um, how did what's the reaction? What what do you enjoy about it? What's great about it is that the people are getting a real kick out of it. That we keep getting a kick out of it. We throw each other curveballs every night, just like yeah. you're seeing now, all right? So, he's yeah. going to do a line, but then he does another line. He's going to do something else, and I'm going to do something else. We don't know what's going to come. We improv a lot on stage, and it's a lot of fun. We don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. That moment when it actually works off an improv is one of the best feelings you could possibly have. And we have a, I'm, I'm in show business 28 years. He's in show business 97 years. And uh, <clears throat> in that That's time. That's dog years. Yeah. yeah. I've never done anything better than this. This is the most fun I've ever yeah. had. Yeah. And Jeff, what would you say on that, too? I mean, this is just, it's a different, it's a whole different thing. It really is. It, it's, um, it's, it's nice to be able to enable a church to do three really big things, which is to uh, raise the money that they need for uh, different types of programs and such, uh, to be able to enable an outreach that is kind of a soft sell sort of thing. They're not, you know, beating the bushes saying, come to our, our, our church event sort of thing. Yeah, it's yeah. come to our show. And it's more palatable for people who are maybe a little hesitant to be able to step in the door to their church. And the, the third thing is they enable their own congregations to start working together as a unified group, as a unit, uh, for the betterment 
of the church and for for God and Christ. And so yeah, how yeah. awesome is that? Well, and an extension of, of both of your own personal faith too. Yeah. I love this. I love that because there are a variety of ways. Obviously, when you're going to churches, it's an environment where you're trying to also build up the body of Christ. But you're taking it even outside of the churches. So it's a way, It's it's I like to call it stealth evangelism, just yes, quality. Yeah, yeah quality family oriented and in that way you're showing Christ you're reflecting Christ exactly after the show this past Saturday night the people kept coming up to us and saying we had a blast and there were no bad words and we didn't have to worry about it and it felt yeah. good it felt like it matched what we were doing and matched the church that we are when you hear that that's exactly what we're hoping for that's yeah. exactly what we're trying yeah. to do this for I love it I love it all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a break and when we come back, you guys are going to share some of your comedy and magic um, with our viewers to give them a little per, uh, firsthand taste. So you want to stay tuned. We will be right back with PG Comedy and Magic, otherwise known as Pete and Jeff. All right, we'll be right back. Bay Focus puts the spotlight on Tampa Bay. Join host Darlene Greenlee as she takes a look at the people and events reaching our Central Florida communities with the gospel. Plan to watch Bay Focus Wednesday mornings at 11.30 and Thursday nights at 7 right here on your CTN station. Thanks for having us. Oh, it's over here. oh, that way. Oh, gotcha. thanks for hey, having us. Hey, thanks here. for having us. Yeah, this is great. Um, is everybody awake though? If you're not awake, you're not going to enjoy the magic. Well, should we give them a test? Give them a little test. Yeah. Everybody, Let's take out a half a sheet of loose leaf. No, it's not that kind of test. Oh, okay. No, uh, I need everyone to uh, just put one hand up in the air. Put I, one hand up. I do solemnly swear. No, that's next Friday. Oh, okay. Um, I want you to touch your thumb and index finger together, and then separate those. <laughs> yeah. So, Ouch. Now wiggle just your thumb. Now wiggle just your index finger. Which one's that? The one you pick your nose with. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, now wiggle all of your fingers. Hello. Wiggle your finger and your thumb. There you go. Touch your thumb and index finger together again. Okay. It makes an okay, okay? Okay. Okay. It makes a circle. I want you to take that circle and touch it to your chin. Your chin's down here. Okay. If, uh, wait a minute. If you if that fooled you, that's great. That means you're visually oriented. Mm -hmm. You're and gonna love it. You're gonna love this stuff Very that cool. we do. Yeah. Very cool. All right. So let's do the first trick. There's first two, one. Two ways of doing it. Do it. Yeah. We could do it the fast way, or we could do it the dangerous way. Anybody? Which, yeah. Uh, camera people. Which way would you like? Dangerous. Fast it, it is. is. Yeah. We yeah, do the yeah, fast yeah, way. Yeah. 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 I heard somebody say fast. Somebody said might have been. Wasn't anybody in this room? There's a lot somebody, of camera yeah. people yeah, here, so it's yeah. hard to tell. Yeah. 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 Anybody been able to solve one of these bad boys in I don't know less than a lifetime? Well, actually, the world record for solving a Rubik's cube is 22 seconds. Yep. But for you here tonight, bam, one second. Yeah. Huh? Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad at all. Not bad. But for Mr. So-and-so over there, who wanted to see it the dangerous way, we're going to do it the dangerous way. Yes. Ah. If you look closely, you can actually see there are some holes in the corner here. That was a keychain. Yeah, he got yeah. it out of Walgreens. That's a true story, by the way. Yeah, true story. You know, you can twist and turn on these. And oh, not my. get anywhere. Oh, yeah. It's just it's, as hard as the big one. It, it is. I'm yeah. not going to use my hands, though. What? I'm going to use my mouth. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Don't make me laugh. Because if I laugh, I might swallow this. And I do not want to swallow mm -mm. this. Mm -mm. Because if I swallow this, it's not hurt. Twice. Twice, actually. Yeah. 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 
And if the second one's not pretty. Mm -mm. Okay, here we go. One, two, two. Mm. Look at that. And it can be examined? Anybody? Anybody, seriously? Anyone want to examine Camera it? people? No? Huh? Yeah. Ooh, no, I've got the uh, bell. I can't, no, I wish, but bell. Okay, all right. So, so. y'all ready for a card trick? Time for a card trick. Card Classic trick. of magic. Classic of magic, card okay. trick. Um, you. Me? Get, yeah, you get to be my table. I'm the table? Yeah, just turn around. Wait a minute, how come I gotta yeah. be a table? How then, then we got this beautiful exterior here. Is that nice? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what? I, it used to take three people to okay. do your job, yeah, so thanks. I mean, it's, yeah. We're gonna, we're my gonna parents try. are so proud. Uh, um, I'm gonna be using three cards, okay? You'll notice uh, two of them are red, uh, and one of them's blue. Or you can count the, the fronts. Two of them are red and one of them's black. So it looks like this. How's my butt look on the camera? No, it's, you know, it's, it's uh, are you clenching or is it? <laughs> no, here. Watch closely. I'm going to take the odd card. The odd card goes right on the bottom. Can everyone see that OK? Does that show up really well? OK, here we go. Actually, turn slightly this way. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is it. Watch closely. Right on the bottom, but if I give it a little bit of a wave like that, it goes right in the middle. Does that look real? Does that look good? It's not actually in the center, okay? It just looks like it is. It's an illusion, but it's pretty strong. Is this gonna hurt? No. Okay. Well, not me. Okay. Uh, have you heard of a, Pete, have you heard of a, of a lady getting sawn in half by a magician? Sure. You have? Okay, uh -huh. well don't volunteer for oh. kind of obvious reasons. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> saw these ladies away from each other using this ace. So you have, to, you have to use your imagination, but lucky for everybody, the ace of spades kind of looks like a knife a little bit, sort of, somewhat. You're soaring in my... No, shh, don't, oh, okay. don't worry about it. It'll, it's not going to be uh, too long. Just like that. Rub it on the bottom. Don't move, Pete. Look at that. It went, goes right through just like you'll get to see it in post. Mm. Okay. My parents are finally proud. Yeah, they are. Ah, well, you're back in show business. Get it? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm going to take the ace, which looks like it's in the middle. I'm just going to straighten it up. Straighten it up with this, uh, what do you call it, the, the bottom queen? The bottom one. Like this. Like that. Little shake. The ace looks like it's in the middle, but actually it's on the bottom. And I think that's the best trick that Pete's ever done. Best I finally one. got one right? Yeah, you did. Hey, you, yeah. know, you know I ain't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Yeah, you're I, not even in a drawer. I thought impeachment was a fruit-flavored breath mint. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought a paradox was a couple of surgeons I'd seen on ER. Wow. So I kept calling it er. I didn't see the little dots in there. He thinks hush puppies are dogs that can't bark. I thought Hamlet was something you ordered with home fries and toast. Wow. Every, every Sunday night, it takes me an hour and a half just to watch 60 Minutes. Really? Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, you're, you're kind of slow a yeah, little bit. Yeah. That's yeah. not too bad. Yeah. You got another trick? You would like to see another trick? I would love to see another trick. Another trick? We'll do, uh... Am I ever going to get to do a trick? You want to do a trick? No, you do it. I can't do them. I always mess them up. You do it. Well, yeah, but you don't practice. I did practice. You didn't practice? Did you really practice? No, no. But I watched the demo on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Mm -hmm. um, let's try something with somebody's imagination. I got here's imagination. Ha ha. Do you know what that is? Uh, your hand. No, it's an imaginary deck of cards. Oh wow. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, what do I gotta do? Here, take, take the. I know you pro you haven't seen this before. No. Pete's not seen this before, by I the way. I don't see anything, as a matter of fact. But okay, well, go ahead. Yeah. Oh. I want I, you probably think that I've got them in some sort of an order. Sure. Okay. So what I want you to do is go ahead and shuffle the cards. Okay. I'm a good shuffle. No, ho, ho, ho. What happened? Take them out of the box first. Oh, sorry. Take them out of the box. Okay. 
Good. Oh, that's good wow. shuffling, right? Yeah. How long shuffling. have you worked in Las Vegas? <laughs> Thank you. Try, it's got the hands try, of a sturgeon, ladies and gentlemen. Try the veal. I'll be here all yes, week. Yes. Okay. Okay. I want you to. I'm not going to look. I want you to fan the cards in front of your eyes. Fan the cards in front uh -huh. of your eyes. And um, oh, I, I won't feel look. so good. I want you to. I want you to pick out a card that you know I can't guess. Uh huh. Show it to the, uh, one of our camera people. Show mm -hmm. it to all of them, See? actually. See. Got it. Everybody got it. Okay. I'm okay, not looking go. at the monitor. Not looking. Okay. I want you to put it back in upside down from all the other cards. Okay, in upside okay. down. And then mix them up. Shuffle like the wind. Saw that in the Indian movie. Got it? Is that Kevin Costner? That's good. Okay. Put them back, uh, put them back in the box. Put them back in the box and hand them to me. Got it. Whoa. <laughs> that was kind of Wait awesome. a second. Yeah. Wow, ooh, that's, that's not, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We had somebody over here saw a card. Who saw the card? You, you saw the card? When we open this up, we take out the deck. We're going to go through it. If there is a card backwards, what was the card? Ace of spades. Ace of spades? Seriously? Here. I get to hold the box. Can we get a close up here? There's no sleight of hand. There's absolutely nothing clandestine going on here at all. Do I have to get close? Do I have to come up? Okay. Is there, I want. Ace of spades. spades. Watch very closely. If you see a card backwards, let me know. Whoop. Is there one? Oh, there's one. Hold it here. Just hold that one right there, just like that. Okay. Just to be on the safe side, we're going to go through just in case there's a, another one backwards. There's another one backwards. I feel let like Vanna White. Well, you're white. You got that. Yes. The card was what again? Ace, Ace, of, Ace of spades. Ace of spades. Would you show that one to them just, just to be? There it is. There it is. <laughs> there hey, it is. Just, uh, just luck. It's not luck. It's skill, buddy. You're the best. Oh. Ace of spades. You got it right. Ace of spades. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. We are out of time. Very cool. You guys do so well together. The banter back and forth and, and the tricks. And then what are, in just a few moments that we have left again, I want to say how can our viewers best connect with you, um, find you, book you, uh, how, can, how can they reach you? pgcomedyandmagic.com. They can go on the website. Yep. They can email info at. They can info. Uh, we have a show coming up May 27th the Christian mm -hmm. Family Church in Tampa. They're welcome yep. to come join us for that for one of their ministries. And again, just go to the website and we'll help them. And and that will also tell you the website um, year round too is in because we will probably show this this program again at some point so get get the word out about you guys. You post on on the website where you're going to be, what's yep. coming mm -hmm. up next, you everything do. along that line. Yeah. And then um, the two of you also have your own your own um, things that you do. But thank you both so much, PG Comedy and Magic, for being on the show today. Thank you for tuning in to Bay Focus. We're so appreciative that you do each week. God bless you. We'll see you next week.